Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the pound dollar. So as we know, the pound has had a pretty tough year with record high inflation and increasing cost of living and energy prices that have hit the UK. In addition, there's been quite a lot of political there's been quite a lot of political turbulence with new Prime Minister Liz Truss not lasting very long and her budget potentially putting the country in a financial stress under financial stress and in recent times Rishi Sunak has taken over which has shored up the currency a little bit so as we move over to the pound um, to see what potential trade opportunities we may have we first have a look at this weekly chart and what we can see is that um, we had this massive spike down on pretty significant volume with a lot of buying um, just a few weeks ago at, towards the um, end of October um, and uh, towards the end of September. And we saw a pretty strong bounce back up to this recent um, resistance level um, that was once support. So the question for us is, well, let's just draw, take this out, take this out. And we'll just draw back in this support level. Just bear with me, guys. So we've got our support here. Oh, whoops. And this has really been holding, you know, this has been a really long term support level, almost 50 years. So the question is well, are we going to bounce back into this kind of range? Oops. Let's just do that again. So we've been holding this six six year range here. Are we going to bounce back in and potentially um, see this kind of price action? So we bounce back up and just keep chopping and chopping and chopping. And that's probably what our suspect uh, what we suspect will happen. Bear in mind, we've still got to get through these moving averages. Um, but this is what you know is potentially could happen. As we've seen, we had this quite a lot of price action um, below uh, at the oversold level. And really, we only last saw that in 2015. Even during the peak of COVID, we didn't quite get to those levels. So very oversold and looking to get back into this range. So that's our first long term kind of look at this currency pair. As we look at the daily chart, um, let's just make this bigger. So we get a better look at this kind of support level, resistance level, and we can see here um, at 1.15, um, 1.15 is our first level, and we've broken through here. We've got a little bit of a consolidation, as we can see, and we are just breaking out of this 50-day moving average. So potentially we've got a a buying opportunity to get to that 1.2 level, which is that 200 day moving average at the very, that's our short term target before maybe pulling back and then going towards 1.42. In addition, um, what we can see is we've got a pretty good long target with a Pretty significant risk reward. So we could almost take this at nearly three, two and a half risk reward. And as I said, probably to chop around here and get to that top of that range. But you know, definitely a short, uh, short to medium term swing strategy on for the pound and the US dollar. Just bear in mind, we still have quite a few economic, um, we still have quite a few bits of economic data, inflation data to come out before we can, um, and that may create create some more volatility in, in the price of this pair. But it's definitely one to watch as it bounces off this long-term support and back into the range. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching and good luck trading.